The product strategy is probably the most important artifact in product management. It has a significant impact on our ability to achieve product success. But how do you come up with an effective strategy in the first place? In this video, I'll introduce product strategy discovery as a systematic and disciplined approach to help you develop a winning strategy for your product. I'm product management expert Roman Pischler, and I've written a book on product strategy called Strategize. Let's get started by exploring what product strategy discovery is. In a nutshell, it's about finding a problem that's worth solving. More precisely, it is the process of developing a product strategy whose implementation will likely create the desired value and impact. It applies to a brand new product as well as an existing one whose current strategy is no longer valid, for example, as market conditions change. This means that strategy discovery is crucial not only to developing an initial offering, the MVP, the minimum viable product, but also to achieving product market fit and sustaining growth. Unlike product discovery, it is not primarily concerned with determining the right solution, finding the right features and creating the right user experience. Instead, strategy discovery focuses on the problem space. It explores if a large enough group of people has a big enough problem that can and should be addressed. Strategy discovery therefore sets the scene for product discovery. Now that we've clarified what product strategy discovery is, let's get more concrete and discuss how you can practice it by following three steps. Formulate an initial product strategy, correct and refine it, and finally implement and update the strategy. Start by capturing the approach which you believe will help you achieve product success. Describe the target group, the customers and users, their needs, the value you want to create for the business, and the features that will set the product apart from competing offerings. A handy tool to formulate the strategy is my product vision board. And you can download the tool for free together with a helpful checklist from my website, romanpischler.com and you can learn more about applying it by watching the video introduction to the product vision board. I'll put the links in the description. While your initial strategy does not have to be perfect at all, it has to be sufficiently specific so that you can uncover the assumptions and risks it contains. Use the checklist that comes with the product vision board to ensure that your strategy is detailed enough. For example, use relevant qualities like demographics and behavioral attributes to characterize the target group so that you can tell if somebody is included or not. Capture the main reason why people would want to use the products when describing the customer and user needs. Clearly state the problem they want to have solved, the benefits they want to attain, or the job people want to get done. If you struggle to detail the initial strategy, you may lack the necessary knowledge or you might be mixing up the portfolio and the product strategy. In the first case, pause the strategy discovery work and carry out just enough market discovery. This may include conducting surveys, interviewing users and customers, and mapping the consumption chain, as well as performing competitive research. In the second case, clearly distinguish between a strategy for a single product and a portfolio, a group of products, as I explain in more detail in the video, the strategy stack, the link is in the description. With an initial good enough strategy in place, you are ready to take the second step. While your strategy might sound compelling, chances are that it contains assumptions and risks. For example, the market you've chosen might be too small or too diverse. The need for the product might not be strong enough or the technologies required to build it might not be available. To maximize the chances of offering a successful product, you should systematically address these risks and correct and refine the strategy before committing to it. To put it differently, you should validate the product strategy. A great way to achieve this is to follow an iterative risk-driven approach. Start by selecting the biggest risk contained in the strategy, the uncertainty that must be addressed now so you don't make the wrong decisions and take the product down the wrong path. Strategy risks are related to desirability, feasibility, viability and ethicality. Sample desirability risks are that there are not enough people who have the need you've identified, that the need is not strong enough, and that the standout features are not compelling. Feasibility risks include that the right technologies are not available and that there are not enough people with the right skills. 
viability risks includes that the cost of developing and providing the product is too high and that the right sales channels are difficult to establish. And last but not least, ethical risks are about the danger of harming the users, society and the planet, for instance, by offering a product that encourages addictive behavior or that is difficult to recycle. Next, determine how you can best address the risk you've chosen, for instance, by observing target users, interviewing customers, building throwaway prototypes, carrying out some competitor research, or investigating the viability of using existing sales channels. Carry out the necessary work and collect the relevant data, but don't do this on your own. Follow a collaborative approach and involve the extended product team. The sales rep, for example, might be the right person to explore sales channel options. An architect programmer may be able to create a throwaway prototype and a UX designer might be a great partner to interview customers. Once you've collected the relevant data, analyze the results and use the newly gained insights to decide what to do. Should you pivot, persevere or stop? Should you stick with your strategy, significantly modify it or no longer pursue your overarching vision? If you decide to pivot, change the strategy and restart the validation process. If you persevere, update the strategy and select the next key risk. As you iteratively correct and refine the strategy, you should see its uncertainty decrease. Fewer and fewer risks should be present and its statements should become clearer and more detailed. You have successfully validated the product strategy when it no longer contains any significant risks and you have the right empirical evidence to support the decisions it contains. A challenge of iteratively reworking and refining the strategy is allocating the right amount of time. To address it, I recommend timeboxing the strategy work. How large the timebox should be depends on the amount of innovation present. Say that you're creating a new strategy for an existing product using established technologies. You may then only require a week or two to de-risk and correct the strategy. However, if you develop a new product for a new market using new technologies, you might have to allocate two to three months to complete the strategy discovery work. If you use a larger time box, schedule weekly meetings with the product team and sponsor to review the work. This allows you to align everyone, determine the progress made and decide how to best continue. Step three finally is to implement and update the product strategy. While strategy discovery focuses on finding a new strategy, the strategy work itself is never done. To proactively guide the development effort and maximize the chances of achieving product success in the future, the product strategy has to change. A great way to achieve this is to establish a continuous strategizing process. Think of the strategizing work as a firm part of the product team's job, a workflow that has to be attended to on an ongoing basis, much like continuous product discovery and continuous product delivery. Therefore, check if the strategy is working as soon as you have released the new product or product version. Continue to do so by scheduling collaborative quarterly strategy reviews and carrying out some strategy work every single week as the person in charge of the product. I hope you found my advice helpful. You can learn more about product strategy discovery by attending my training courses and by reading my book, Strategize. Thank you for watching.